sound good. Now we're going to go into our Through the Grapevine and our Tea in the Streets. First, All we're right. going to play a quick disclaimer, mm -hmm. and then we'll get right on into that. All okay. right. Okay. Copyright disclaimer. Under Title 17 USC Section 107, allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. All right. Okay. So we're going to do um, our Through the Grapevine first. This is we're talking about a current event, things that are maybe going viral, things mm. that people are talking about right now. So I found this video on um, Twitter, actually, but it's originally from Instagram. Mm -hmm. And I just saw a bunch of people talking about it. So I'll give you a little bit of context. Um, basically, it's this woman. She is talking about... Um, posting her man on social media. Mm. She has a husband and posting him on social media. Mm. And I'll actually let her do all the talking. And if you could play that video. I'm coming over here because I don't know, I'm debating. Ooh. I'm like, well, I'm debating Ooh, about on. putting my husband back on my social media. But it's a dis disrespect from the females. The females that be in your comments, oh, I, I love y'all together, but then hop in my husband DM. Like, it's crazy. Like I'm not gonna, like I'm not gonna see it. Oh, you're a good father. You a, you, you, you're a good dad, a good provider, a good husband. Well, if you're a good husband, why the hell you and my husband DM? You only know all the good stuff he do because I post him. If I, if I don't post y'all, I mean post him at all, I don't have to worry about y'all being in his DM like that. Like I never had this, this that much disrespect. Or oh, I don't want to disrespect your wife. Or I don't want to do this. You are. Get out his DMs. He's happily married. Stop trying to tempt my husband. Temptation can lead to stuff. You know what I'm saying? And all it takes is for the right back or to start texting. I'm like, why tip my husband? If you know this man got some good in me, like, when you find your man, when you find your best friend, you have to help him develop into the man you want him to be. You know, create your own man. I, I, I put in my work. I put in my work. 12 years, I put in my work. You need to find yours and put in your work. I hate when people see something good and they want to hop on in. You want to be me. Stop trying to be me. You can't be me because you ain't me. Totally see you going in like that. Look, look, that's how she know it too. Okay, I have I, I have an opinion on that, but since it's the man show, I want to hear how the men no, feel about that. Your opinion. I, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take mine. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take mine later. So, how do y'all feel about having your wife or or, or women in your DMs? Uh, uh, JB in your DMs. Don't act like y'all don't know what a DM is. Well, uh, well how do you feel? I, about I think that it calls for uh, just like everyday life. A call of responsibility and loyalty. Mm -hmm. um, because mm -hmm. people uh, make comments to you, it's how you respond. There you go. And you don't have to respond to everything because you still got other people you got to represent. Right. So you don't want people who act foolish and then you act foolish back. Mm -hmm. Some things, every action don't cause for a reaction. There you go. Some things you can know because you got to know that who you with is solid and they're going to do the right thing. Mm -hmm. People are going to come at you because we understand that's the, that's what the enemy going to do and that's what people going to do. Right. And you just got to watch how you handle it. Right. So that's what I look at. You got to just have trust with each other and watch how you handle and you should know what's going on mm -hmm. and you should have the responsibility. Yeah. All right then. So okay. Brother, uh, brother Carl? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to let JBL get on this one but I think people have a problem with handling uh, success uh, uh, decently. That's a good, you know. Yeah, but yeah. That's my way of putting it because yeah. it, uh, success is attention. I'm talking about. Yeah, you know. Yeah. I and mean? when you're getting attention, a certain level of attention, that tend to go to your head sometimes, and then you tend to react, yeah. and then act. And so we know we got to be careful not to be active when 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 attention is coming. That, that's the that's me. Yeah. Yeah. Because something's. We have to mature. Mm -hmm. How God raises us up. Right, right. You know, some things we just got to mature as God raises us up. Yeah, yeah exactly. Why JBL, not? you got anything on this? Yeah, you know, my wife and I have a very public relationship. Uh, you know, we have a podcast with a lot of people that follow us. I've written a series of books about our relationship. Uh, we have a YouTube channel filled with videos about the things that we do together and who we are. And, you know, we made a very conscious choice to put ourselves out for the world to see. And mm -hmm. people are going to react how they react. There's people that love my wife. There's people that love me. There's people that hate the both of us. And mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> how, how they perceive us is not our business. You know, right. what our business is, is, is having the best relationship that we can and trying to lead by example in what we do. And people send us messages all the time. And it's, it's just noise from the ether. We don't pay any attention to that. You know, mm -hmm. because if you're going to take the good to heart, then you got to take the bad to heart. And that's come on, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. 
That's so good. we just ignore all of it. Yeah. And for me, uh, from a woman's perspective. You say ignore and appreciate at the same time, huh? Yeah. Right. <laughs> and we know we're reaching people, and that's yeah. all that matters. Yeah. All that matters. Good answer. For me, yeah. uh, my perspective perspective is one i'm not getting on the social media or anything and, and feel like i have to defend my relationship mm -hmm. first of all my relationship is with him and if he is he don't know how to handle someone going into his dms trying to get at him the issue mm -hmm. is not them it's him right and so for me he know what he got and if he want to risk what he got mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's on him. Right. Yeah. So uh, there is no need for him to feed into yeah. something outside of me. Yeah. Okay. I knew you would say that, Miss Carter. And that's why I put that part in the audio in the very end when she says, don't tempt my husband. <laughs> it is not up to the women. It, it, it is up to your man to you not be tempted it, right. by some woman on Instagram. Baby, mm -hmm. you know, if you get tempted it, every time he goes to the grocery store. Every time he goes to the yeah. grocery no, store. No, Hello. No, for hey. There are beautiful women everywhere. everywhere. Right. Right. Yeah. And there's going to be a beautiful yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And it is up to you as a person in a committed relationship. If you get those DMs, especially mm -hmm. she has a decent amount of followers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I assume her husband does too. Um, if you're putting yourself out there on social media and you can't, you don't have the discipline or, or the willpower to, to just hand. delete it. Yeah. <laughs> it's so easy to just yeah. delete the message. A block. Yeah. You yeah. know, you, I I get, we, I, we get people all the time. I just block them whenever yeah. you're going, because see, you're disrespecting our relationship. Right? Mm -hmm. I see you devil before you get in here. Yeah. You're blocked. Yeah. I don't Because at the end of the day. <sighs> Us as men, mm -hmm. we're visual creatures. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that is something that the creator placed inside us, and there's nothing that we can do about it. Mm -hmm. Right. So at the end of the day, it do ultimately boils down to the choice that we make. Yeah. There you go. Hello. Because they coming. They coming. Yeah. Absolutely, they coming. That's right. But yeah. you have to make a cognitive decision to say, hey, listen, yeah. I'm not willing to risk because you got to understand one thing. Men, we're visual. Mm -hmm. Women are emotional. Mm -hmm. So if a woman get close to you, that means she's got emotional close to you. And what happens when they get emotional entangled and they get frustrated? Mm -hmm. Stuff start coming out because okay. they don't care. Because they want to connect. Okay, yeah. we had that conversation on another show. Mm -hmm. All right, then. Yeah. And all when right. you and when you brother Carter, you just gotta fight women off all the time. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm used to this, man. <laughs> I'm built for this shit. Okay, all right. Have a comment on Facebook about the situation from mm -hmm. Suzanne uh, Babin. Hey, Suzanne. Hey, Suzanne. Hey, Suzanne. Good morning. She said, if my husband tried to make any excuse with that, I'm going to kick his everything. <laughs> kick his everything. Yeah. And then, uh, Robin, Robin Walter said, hey, there it is. Uh -oh. I block with the quickness. I know that. Right 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 yeah, no, really. All right, sister yeah, Robin. You like my wife, you have the elbow. I put the elbow <laughs> I believe you. All right. So on that note, we're going to move into Tea in the Street. Oh, all right. Yes, it's, it's a tea. new segment that we started a mm. few weeks ago. Um, and on the same vein of like current events, Tea in the Streets kind of takes it from a more pop culture perspective. Mm -hmm. um, so this one is a little more serious. It's another video that we're going to play for you guys that goes um, a little bit over the um, lawsuit happening between um, Cassie and mm -hmm. Um So the video I chose, um, it's a girl kind of just giving some details. It's a really long video if you want to go look her up. But I have a short, I, I shortened it up for you guys. And, and who who did you get? What site did you see? You... From TikTok. Okay. And it'll stay on there okay. too. Okay, you credit. The okay, video. great. Okay. Um, you can look uh, look it up on the screen. Um, but yeah, this is on a more serious note. She gives the details and we'll talk about it. Okay. I just read all 35 pages of the lawsuit filed by Cassandra Ventura, aka Cassie, versus Sean Combs, aka Diddy. It talks about how the two met in late 2005, early 2006. Cassie was 19 and Diddy was 37. By 2008, Diddy had allegedly introduced Cassie to opiates. The suit also alleges that Cassie's medical records were being sent directly to Diddy's email address. He's the CEO of the label that Cassie is signed to. He also paid for her apartments, her cars, her clothes, and vacations. And all of this combined contributed to Cassie's feeling like her entire life was under the complete control of Diddy. The suit tells multiple stories of violence in the relationship. Diddy allegedly violently beating Cassie and then exercising his money, power, and influence to hide the bruises and at times hide her. It claims that a few years into their relationship, there was an arrangement in which male sex workers were hired for Cassie to engage in acts with and Diddy would watch. Cassie claims that Diddy her 
while she told him to stop and tried to push him away. She had struggled with addiction to drugs and alcohol that were all established and fueled by Diddy. She's even had thoughts of unaliving herself. So she's suing. Diddy, through his attorneys, deny all of the allegations and says he is being extorted. All righty. I will say, so... Allegedly. Allegedly. This is all alleged. Mm -hmm. Um. She, and she is uh, filing a lawsuit against all these. Well, things. actually, Cassie filed a lawsuit and, and got paid, got, got the, paid next the next day the within next 24 day. hours. Yeah. Less than oh, 24 wow. so, hours. And he put, I think, that's a not gag. Alleged. That's not alleged anymore. I think he put a gag on the two to well. She Once I pay you, we can't talk, talk about, about it. it. No right. Way. Right. But and the streets are talking. The streets are the talking. The streets are talking. <laughs> and um, I included in there that not only is, you know, physical and sexual <clears throat> assault being uh, alleged, um, but also... Um, you know, dr drug use mm -hmm. and also human trafficking, which is something that I know we touch on often here. And this situation, when I first heard about it, was giving very much R. Kelly. Mm -hmm. Like, I was like, are all these like male artists like that? Like, I don't mm -hmm. know. It's really disheartening to hear about. Well, I think when I, and, and it was so funny that uh, Abigail and I are so in sync because I called up and I said, okay, what's our tea in the streets and what's our, our, uh, heard it through the great veil, right? What are we talking about? And both issues was something that I wanted to talk about, but she was already there. And I have a real uh, issue. I, I won't even say a ledge anymore. I see what's happening now with, when it comes to this P. Diddy thing. I think that uh, what has happened to that, that's now coming out, what has happened to so many artists, so mm -hmm. many young ladies back in the day, mm -hmm. it's kind of still happening because when I see how you're young ladies and i'm speaking of the young ladies uh to, and how they're <clears throat> themselves it really hurts me mm -hmm. but i think that what's going on is so that they can have fame what are you willing to risk to have your name out there and and when i think of cassie she's a beautiful woman uh i'm sure when she came into meeting p diddy mm -hmm. she did not go there with the intent of having to go through 10 years of what she went through she went there with the mindset of this guy can help me but i do think that those that are out there inspiring to be stars you need to ask yourself at what cost mm -hmm. at what cost mm -hmm. and you need to be conscious you need to listen to the people that love you, yeah. mm -hmm. you yeah. know and you need to be comfortable enough to say to the people that love you I don't feel safe. This doesn't feel right. You need to have a safe but, place but to go to. What's happening is a lot of these people, they they get into a certain. Move up to the mic. Oh, <laughs> oh, a lot of these people, they get into a certain lifestyle mm -hmm. and they get accustomed to it. Right. Mm -hmm. And then they have all these people thinking they doing this and they doing that. And it's OK. My status is here now. Mm -hmm. I would rather deal with this behind closed doors and still be able to look like this in the public eye when I know, but sometimes but that's I, the way I, it I is. I get that, but that's why I'm saying that you got to listen to the people that are close, that love you. Mm -hmm. I, I still think that a lot of times we get so high, some people get so high that they push away the people or the, maybe it's not them pushing away. Maybe it's the people around them that's pushing them up that's isolated. Yeah, because they know that this is a, a, a sound of reason that you might listen to. Yes. And this is what I want you to do. So I'm going to get you away from them yes. so you can't hear this voice yes. no more. Well, yes. I, I agree with what you're saying. If, if I, I, I know, take it to a spiritual standpoint. Yes. Mm -hmm. you, you remember when when Jesus got anointed, he, pre he fasted, mm -hmm. 40 days for the night. Then the enemy came to him and offered him all these different things. Mm -hmm. If he bow down, yeah. worship him. Mm -hmm. and this is what we see these people doing. Mm -hmm. Often people success if you do this and do this. It's the same trick that happened back then. Mm -hmm. It happened right now. The Bible says nothing new under, under the sun. Right. This is why we had to go back and say, train up a child. Mm -hmm. They say, well, hey, we, I was taught I shouldn't do this. This is not that God. Mm -hmm. And if we, we do that, we can kind of help them from getting influenced <laughs> by evil spirits like that. Because that's what we're dealing with. That's the same. It, it can happen to Jesus. Right. He just refused right. not to deal with that. Mm -hmm. He refused to reject it. How he did it? Through the word of God. Right, right. But he got influenced like mm -hmm. that. Mm. The Bible said when he talked to her, the devil talked to her, and when she saw, she went after it. She can, what she mm. can have. Yeah. What she can have. So I think we just, uh, you just act right. We just got to continue to train people up in a way 
though. That they should go. Mm -hmm. And when the enemy come with that type of influence, mm -hmm. offering himself, he said, Jesus, I'm going to give you all this if you just bow down right, to me. Right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's what he did. Yeah. Yeah. And we want this stuff so bad to we'll sell our soul down, for yeah. it. Do anything. Yeah. And it's sad. It's, it's very sad mm -hmm. because now you, you got granddaughters, you got daughters. Yes. And, and it hurt us, even as men who even thought it was okay if we grew up. Listen to people tell us. Right. Yeah, and you okay. know, it's all it's in not, the word. Jump in, JB, you have JB. something to say. Jump in there. I'm sorry. I do. You know, I think this this starts with a lot of ambitious parents who want their kids yes. to succeed. See, that's a, JB, that's, that's one think. thing I don't like when you talk before me, you take my words right out of my <laughs> mouth. <laughs> but I want you to continue on that. All right. <laughs> Just so you know, I was going to say that. Go ahead. <laughs> But, you know, the Me Too movement showed us an awful lot of truth about the world. And I don't know if you guys are familiar with the Safe Sport organization, but that's the governing mm -hmm. body over all professional sports. Mm -hmm. And uh, and when there's allegations of sexual misconduct against coaches, whether it's in gymnastics or horse riding, but we're talking about people who are trying to go to the Olympics and be professionals at whatever it is that they do. Sexual misconduct is everywhere in everywhere. that world. Right. Yeah. And mm -hmm. these parents are putting their kids in those situations because they want them to achieve greatness. So yes. if that kid's growing up in that, of course, they're going to continue that when they become an adult because they understand that this is how the world works. And that's wow. where we wow. stop it. That's, wow. That's, that, that was good, JB. Come on, Abby. Abby. Um, I wanted to also, because I know we touched on the fact that, you know, there was human trafficking involved. Mm -hmm. And in the beginning of the video, she talks about their age difference. She wow. was 19 Ten years and old. he was 37 when yes. they first yeah. started yeah. doing when he thing. when he when he forced himself upon and, and that goes back to because he went he started her at a very young age. Yes, and so and her mind I was think not. it's so important that we teach young girls that you have no business being with a man that age. Yes, technically she was legal, she was above uh -huh. the age of 18. That the that mind. young of a woman it shouldn't has no business being with a man of that age. Yeah. And a lot of people have this idea that human trafficking comes from like, oh, they're going to pick you up on the street. They're going to kidnap mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. That is not That's usually not how this, it goes. Right. No. They usually target young women and yes. they tell them, I can make you famous. I can get you money. Mm -hmm. yes. And especially because she's beautiful. He, yeah. he, she's beautiful. And he is an artist. Artist, you know yes. So, no, he, he did it. Yeah. yeah, exactly. He's mm -hmm. not just an artist. He's a mogul. Like, And so, of course... You know, these women are going to trust him. Same thing with R. Kelly. They're yeah. going to trust these these men because they're in a position of power. And that's usually how human trafficking begins. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I think it's but so important to teach young girls that. Mm -hmm. She didn't start that journey when she was 19. You know, she's been working on that all her life. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And so for the sake of the men's show, I'm going to piggyback off of JBL for a minute here. Uh, talk to the fathers out there, you know, uh, when you when your daughter's involved with some uh high profile athlete, entertainer, whatever. Uh, you know, uh it's easy for the father to just get caught up in the situation, start talking about, oh my my baby with so and so so he played for the cowboys and all this here. But you know what? You need to be careful about how you want your daughter to who you want your daughter to hang out with and who you want your daughter. And entertain herself with it, it, it can be detrimental mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. your daughter, mm -hmm. to your own daughter. Mm -hmm. So, men, be careful, be careful for what you want with your daughters. And, and, and I would even take it a step further, it shouldn't just be athletes, entertainers. I mean, I think a father has a responsibility to their daughter to handle that accordingly. That man that's coming, that's yeah. dating your daughter or one a young man that's wanting to date your daughter mm. you need to evaluate that right, right. based yeah. off of who he is and how he's coming but, but i'm talking in particular about these these high profile individuals yes, that I, you, you're getting your, your daughters involved with and you know you get so elated about oh i can go hang out yeah, yeah you yeah. start you struck and now you 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 got you actually then pawned your daughter yeah. off so you can have this little glimpse of of light yeah, yeah. next to these that's individuals exactly right. and that's hey, what he, i'm he, saying he cash and checks right. bill, you say yeah, you yeah, pay. yeah. just have it at the studio at right. the time don't worry about right right exactly so that's what i'm i'm talking to the men out there about being careful about those situations of course you got to be careful with all Yes. individual yeah. but particularly i'm talking I, about I, these I high profile that. individuals i love that i love that yeah. hey just they are, real quick, they are some of my predators problems, yeah 
my followers, they love your voice, man. They say, who's that with that calm pastor voice? <laughs> oh, that's, my, that's, that's what, what Walter nah, was that was Then my homeboy say, he does have a good reach with his words. Yeah. <laughs>